and wave green and gold socks on every hand. So you imagine thousands of people in the stadium at Sydney and everyone's like waving these green and gold socks for us and we're running through and it was just the most incredible feeling to go, wow, this is what the Olympics is about. This is where we absolutely, the noise, the feeling and the team and the dynamic of going, wow, we're here to represent Australia for something we absolutely love doing. And that was one thing that was incredible. Go, this is a, a memory and I get goosebumps when we talk about it now, but I'll never forget, and I'm sure these guys have exactly the same feelings of running out, but... Playing with a lot of my childhood heroes, uh, yeah, it was three months later that I was right in the full group and playing in major tournaments and, and winning as well, so that was the lovely sort of two years passing. West Australian Institute of Sport were running a talent search program. The biggest, the biggest change is the distraction. We are totally living in this village filled with famous athletes that you only ever see on TV sort of thing. Like Michael Phelps just walks past, Obi Bryant is even much stuff. It's just, just people that you, you, you get so starstruck and then the dining hall makes food from all over the world. So no matter where you come from, you can sort of eat something that I was really lucky to be able to do it at the Home Olympics. And then on top of that, to actually win gold at the Home Olympic Games was the most amazing feeling of going, wow, I've just achieved my dream. And